Hey guys, Curtis here. So today I'm going to be giving you a bit of um, um, a bit of a tutorial on how to get games to work with OVR Toolkit if you're using an Oculus headset. If you're not using an Oculus headset, so you're using um, Index, Vive, Pimax, Windows Mixed Reality, Star VR, anything else that isn't Oculus, this doesn't apply to you at all. Uh, you can just run the program through Steam and it will work. Only Oculus slash Facebook has opted to make it this difficult. <laughs> so, without further ado, the first page you're really going to want to pay attention to is this. The OVR Toolkit Wiki Oculus page. This will contain uh, fixes for... Uh, well, fixes in quotes. Um, workarounds to get games to run through OpenVR, OVR, uh, which is also called SteamVR. Um, this will basically tell you how to get games to run where they can be overlaid by OVR Toolkit, so you can see OVR Toolkit. Uh, if you don't do these, you'll likely get into the game and be questioning why the overlays aren't visible, and this will be why. The large majority of these require you to run the game in Windows 7 compatibility mode. This is because the Oculus runtime doesn't support Windows 7, so this forces the game to fall back to running through SteamVR. So, if we go on, uh, let's look for Elite. Elite is a popular one for this. So we would go into Properties, um, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Uh, I can't remember how to do the launcher, but I'm going to do it as well. You would go onto there, and then set this to Windows 7. And then we do the same for Products, Elite Dangerous, Elite Dangerous 64, and set this to run in Windows 7 compatibility mode as well. And now the game would, um, when you run it on Steam, it will launch through um, uh, through Steam VR. So uh, a bit of a confusing topic is knowing if the game is running through Steam VR or if OVR Toolkit's just broke. So, <laughs> and you can tell that actually by looking at this. So say I launch a game like um, uh, VRChat, for example, you'll see up here it'll now show uh, no playing VR chat. If your game isn't running through Steam VR, this will show like no playing Steam VR Home or something. Um, against popular belief, even if you launch the game through Steam VR Home or through the Steam VR dashboard, the game might not be running through Steam VR still. Whilst in VR, you can try and open the Steam VR dashboard uh, with the left or the right menu button. I don't remember which one it is, but one's Oculus Dash and one's Steam VR Dash. So if you try to open that and it doesn't open, or it opens and you can see SteamVR Home in the background instead of the game, then you know that you need to do one of these fixes. Um, these fixes are for the majority of the large, most played games, but if your fix isn't on here and you manage to get it working, uh, please message me in Discord or put it in the YouTube comments, on the Steam discussions, something, and I'll add it to here for other users to refer to. After you've done this, you should just be able to start over your toolkit, start your game, and it should work. You can follow the other video guides on the YouTube channel uh, for getting started in standing or seated modes. Uh, anyway, I think that about, um, that about does it for this one. If I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll gladly try and resolve any issues. Or, if you want a quicker response, please join our Discord. Uh, link will be in the description. Thanks.